geo zones are different from zones and that with a zone you can be able to create a zone deals with more so a specific uh, country, specific city, but a geo zone is a little much broader. So, for example, if you wanted to create for tax, sometimes you do this for tax reasons that you want to talk, you want to tax a certain uh, geo zone uh, a certain amount. Um, for example, with the geo zone, you can have a geo zone for United States. And that means that you can tax everyone that comes from the United States or all orders from the United States a certain amount. You can tax everyone for a specific uh, continent or a specific region. And you can be able to create as many zones here as you need to. And once again, you're creating the zones for tax purposes sometimes. And let's say you want to create a new geo zone. You click on that and you select the country. I'm just going to put in US. So you select the country. And right now it's set to United States all zone. So that means that every order that comes in from this here, you'd have a certain if you want to tax those people a certain amount, you can do that. Or if you wanted to create a geo zone United States for a specific uh state or a specific section that's part of the US territory, you can do that as well. So I just create the United States and that's um if you want to add more, you can go through here and just add as many geo zones as you need to. If you go to Afghanistan, you can create for that, or you can create for a specific section. Save and close. So geo zones, you know, they're important because it allows you to be able to you know correctly um, deal with each section they're almost like the groups a few um, courses ago um, I talked about groups and how you can create each group for each section what well, geo zones are something similar to that because they allow you to be able to um, organize you know how you want to deal with a particular section in terms of you know for taxing purposes which is usually the case or for advertising